What's up YouTube? I'm very excited to show you guys my SCX24 that I transformed into a 77 Ford van. Check it out. I'm gonna go over all the products that I've used to make this van conversion possible. The first thing that I purchased was the SCX24 Jeep. Then I purchased the one inch steely wheels from RC four wheel drive. Then I purchased the one inch mud slinger wheels from RC four wheel drive. We have the Emac servo in there. I actually have a how to video if you need to figure out how to install your Emac servo or you plan to do it in the future. We have hot racing steering links in there. They're aluminum and they're great. Highly recommend them. Next, we have some brass steering knuckles that I found on Amazon for cheap. They're knockoff, but they do the job. I do plan on buying some trio uh, steering knuckles in the future. They are pretty heavy, about 11 grams. I do like that, and I do plan on doing that in the future. You're probably wondering, how is this thing so wide? It's about the width of a 118 scale. Well, what we did was we flipped our RC four-wheel drive wheels, the Steely one inch, and we flipped them the other way to get a greater offset. So now it's a lot wider. I purchased the axle extenders from Cobra Racing, which is plus five millimeters. And on top of that, we have the plus four millimeter hot racing long axles. And honestly, they've been great, no complaints. And the reason why I have this so wide is because when you're turning in this uh, van, it will rub against the body if it's not as wide. And also if you look at that flex right there, it's almost touching the body. So we need it very wide. Up next is the suspension. We have Hot Racing Teleshocks and they gave a great look with the aluminum. They look very scale, but functionality is not so great. If you're looking for performance, I would not recommend these. I would recommend the Shock Shock or I would recommend buying some aftermarket ones that are oil filled. Um, these, the only problem with these are they're very tall. They're double, they're the size of a double barrel. So if you go uphill, you're gonna fall back. Downhill, you're gonna fall forward. So what I went ahead and did was I put some limiting straps on there. I used some chains that I found at Michael's and these work great. They're about $3.99 for a bunch of it. I have a lot of extra now. I can use it for towing or whatever I want. Uh, but they gave it a very scale look with the chains. I like that a lot. Um, so that worked great for me. This van body is an AMT 77 Ford van. You can find this on Amazon and I got lucky at my local hobby shop. I actually screwed up the windows on this van build and that's why I went with the screen. I didn't originally have this screen idea or look, you know, at the beginning because I wanted to put the windshield in there. I wanted to give it the real scale look. But now that I screwed up the windshield, trying to glue it in there and glue got all over it, dried to it, it was a mess. So basically what I did was I went to Home Depot, found some, found some screen and I bought a roll of it. It was pretty pricey, but now I have a whole roll of it. Um, but I put it all in the windows here, shaped it, cut it. It looks great, you know, it gives it that rock uh, crawler look. It looks like there's a cage in there to protect whoever's in there. Now you might be asking, how did I mount this body? I actually mounted it with some JB weld and magnets in the rear. I used the rear mount for the Jeep and I put some JB weld on top of that and it's been held in great there. I did use hot glue before that and honestly crawling outside doing some hard crawling, the rig would fall over and the body would fall off. So uh, JB weld had prevented that and I've been using it for about a month now and it's been great. And in the front, I also have a magnet in the front with some JB Weld holding on to that as well. And I also have another magnet on the front of the body uh, below the hood there, holding a the, uh, magnet there with some more JB Weld as well. Um, and this has been the best way to mount this body on here. It's permanent, but I don't plan on removing it. Now for differential covers, I'm running a trio differential cover in the front and I highly, highly, highly recommend trio differential covers. Um, they're about 11 grams each and they weigh a good amount. So it'll keep that front end down. You need a lot of weight in the front end from what I've learned. And on this rig, it needs it too. Um, I, I was running some knockoff URC Max rear differential covers, um, but I ended up just putting the front one on my truck back here. And I also went ahead and put the trio ones in the front here. I do plan on putting trio 
uh, differential covers in the rear. Uh, it has helped tremendously and it would help this rig even more. Now one other thing that works tremendously great are these rear uh, trio counterweights and they work amazing. I highly recommend them. Uh, they keep that, that rear end down. I have a lot of problems with going downhill and these rear counterweights have really helped out with a lot of that and they give it a great look. Nobody even notices it there. So uh, I would definitely check out those rear, rear counterweights. They're amazing. For the motor, I run a 050 brushed ECX barge. I went ahead and took off the transmission cover because the shaft for the motor is so long that it runs into the cover. Also, I do like the look of the cover taken off. You can see the gears moving as you drive. So you're all probably wondering how much money did I spend on this? I spent a good amount. I spent $436.85. That's how much this little thing that can fit in my hand cost me. Honestly, it's well worth it. It's all in the hobby. It's all in the building. And I wouldn't, I wouldn't change it for the world. You know, this is great. I love it. I crawl it every day. I bite my friends over. They love it. We love it. It's amazing. Crawl on.